This video will show you how to install the CorelDRAW plugin software. As pointed out in the how to use the control panel video, you can copy and install the software or copy the, the files on the hard drive only or install the software without copying the files to the hard drive except the files that are required to run the plugin. Copy and install takes a while because the files are large and they have to be copied in the hard drive and after the copying of the files is done it will go ahead and install the software. Copy only is the next longest you know, and it doesn't install the software so what we're going to do here we're going to use the install only and later on you can come back and open the autoplay control panel again and do the copy only option so I'm going to go ahead and click install software message will appear it reminds you that because at the end of the installation and creating the macro shortcut you have to register the software online and the activation code will be emailed to you after the registration form is received also remind you to read the agreement and disclaimer clause so you know what the limitation and restriction of the plugin also simple steps on how to install the software is described in the third paragraph I'm going to click OK and uh, rhinestone installer will open normally the software is installed by clicking the version that of CorelDRAW enter the access code and after you read the uh, agreement and disclaimer clause which is pretty long so you have to scroll down click agree if you agree to the conditions and then this button will change to install and you can click that to go ahead and install the software however CorelDRAW might not be installed in uh, C drive it might be installed somewhere else in the computer hard drive or well, the path where CorelDRAW graphic suite is installed is not the standard that CorelDRAW uses so I'm going to go ahead and click browse you don't have to do this but I need to show you just in case you get a path not found when you try to install in, in a standard way I'm going to click browse and right now we have the C drive pre-selected if CorelDRAW in your computer is not on the C drive you have to change that by clicking this button and then select the drive in my computer CorelDRAW is in the C drive but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to navigate in case you need to do this we're going to look for program files okay now you notice there are two program files here there's program files and a program files x86 this windows version is windows 7 and there are two program files created by the operating system most of the time all the programs are in program files x86 I'm going to double click on program files and as you can see there's no Corel listed anywhere in the folder so we're going to double click C drive again and 
this time we're going to click x86. And when you double click the folder, watch this window here. And it will start building up the path. I'm going to double click uh, Program Files x86. And look for Corel, which is here. Double click that. Again, if you notice, it, the uh, path is building up. And we're going to be installing the software in Graphics Suite x4 which is version x4 I'm going to double click that and as you see the pattern is almost identical as the example except x86 was added by Windows 7 this one don't have it and then uh, version is x4 because we're installing it in x4 this one the example here it shows x uh, 13 or x3 there's also a help window that will show you what we just did just in case you have to navigate you can always click help and there are balloons here that will tell you what to do. Okay. Let me close this. We're going to go ahead and pretend we're going to be installing it. Uh, using the browse button method. So we're going to click OK. Now there is a window of the path that wasn't there before. Since we are doing the browse mode, the path that was built up in the browse window is now transferred in the path input box. That is where the installer will try to locate and install the plugin. In this case, you enter the access code, click agree, and then click install. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you the uh, normal way. Uh, by the way, if you notice, these are all grayed because we selected the browse method. So you cannot click any one of those. To get those activated again, you need to click cancel. Okay. Now we can select the version. Click X4. You notice the selected version is also shown here. I'm going to type the access code. The access code, as shown here, is inside the CD case or customer info file for download purchase option. So if you bought the uh, program in the CD, the access code is inside the CD case. I'm going to go ahead and type the access code. And we're going to click agree. And click install. Okay, the files that are required to run the macro will be copied to the CorelDRAW folder and it will automatically load CorelDRAW. We're going to open a new document. Click new blank document. Click tools. Customization. Commands. 
file menu bar and look for macros click that I got several versions installed in my computer in your case you have to look for the version that you purchased in this demo we're gonna be installing FSADV click main FSADV click and drag into the workspace area of CorelDRAW and release the left button you can type in the tooltip help window anything that you desire for this demo I'm gonna type rhinestone designer next click appearance you can type over the uh, caption make it a little shorter I'm going to type FSA which is the advanced version the icon that will be used is a default icon right here if you move the mouse inside the area that can be edited it, the uh, cursor will change to a paintbrush so when you click and drag it around it will redraw what's in that pixel you can also pick one of the icons in a drop down list click it and it will go into here but for now we're just going to use the default click command bars <coughs> a new toolbar will be added in the bottom of the list click on that text wait a few seconds and click it again so it can be edited I'm going to type the same word that I used earlier this is the word that will be placed on top of the toolbar and you don't want it wait too long it's not going to show anyway because the uh, size of the toolbar will be small on the default button appearance click the drop down bar and you can pick one of these options we're going to click caption to write of image and watch that icon change okay this changed now with the caption and the icon both displayed inside the toolbar click OK now we're halfway done with the installation you can dock the shortcut toolbar in here in the taskbar or in the menu bar but for our purposes we're gonna dock it here so click and drag and release the button and our shortcut toolbar is now in the toolbar menu bar click on it a message will appear that states that the macro needs to be registered and wait for the registration form to appear in the web browser fill it up and click submit click ok a new pop-up will appear you can read the text inside the box if you want to 
And then it'll tell you what you need to do when you receive the activation code. Click register. And a new message will appear. The message states that you need to read the instructions on top of the registration form so you don't mess it up when you fill it up. Click OK. The macro registration form will open. Again, as the uh, message earlier state that you need to read instruction. There are four lines of instructions in this page. The most important one is this one here. Okay. Just right click on the registration code input box, which is this one here. Then click paste to place a copy of the code in the registration code input box. So I'm going to right click here and click paste. Okay, it will put a series of numbers so please do not disturb it or alter it or delete otherwise the registration will not be valid. Next we're going to fill the rest of the form. Please note that the label next to the input box may have star on it that input box must have value in it otherwise it will not allow you to click submit to finish the registration so we're going to fill out the rest of the form You can press tab to move to the next line, or you can just left click the input box that you want to fill. That will do the same thing. Okay, this input box is optional there's no star next to it but if you have an address to you can type in that input box Okay, the macro access code is the same as the code that you use to install the software. Right click on it and click paste because it will put this numbers in here, which is wrong. I need to have the exact access code in order for me to generate the activation code. It's not case sensitive. The last one is serial number. The serial number is also included with the access code that is in the CD drive case or in the customer info file if you purchase the download version. Okay, finally Click Submit. A thank you message will appear. And once the registration form is received, the activation code will be sent to you. The installation process is now complete. The next video will be how to activate the software.